is your packet for today. Uh, I'm going to go through just each of the activities, just the first uh, examples or just the beginning of each one. Uh, so the first activity, like I mentioned, is your chance to use context clues. The instructions are in the first activity of this packet, you will use context clues to try and determine the meaning of each of your new vocabulary words. The example below shows how you how to do this activity. All right, so it has some instructions. First, begin by looking at the photo and ask yourself, what do I see? So here we have uh, some birds. So I have here, I see birds flying in the air. Uh, they're not being controlled or told what to do. Okay, great. Um, number two says, next, look at the caption. Ask yourself, what word could I put in place of the underlying vocabulary word? Right, here's the caption right here. And by the way, our word is absolute. Absolute. It says here, my mother, my mother's no was absolute. Once she said it, there was no chance of changing her mind. So here, I said, I might substitute all or complete for absolute. So it might sound like this. My mother's no was complete. Once she said it, there was no chance of changing her mind. Number three, then I look at the example sentence below the picture. Ask yourself, do my substitutions from the caption, all and complete, make sense in this sentence? We're back here now. Birds have absolute freedom to go wherever they like. So that was uh, the example sentence here. Um, if you choose all or complete for this one, I think that would work really well. So I said, yes, complete works in the example sentence as well. And finally, write or type, you're gonna be typing, a prediction in the last box. The answer is complete of the prediction for the definition of absolute. Okay, that is the first activity. You'll do that for each one. Uh, the process here are the questions you ask yourself, but your end result is just a prediction of the word definition using context clues. So you have your sentence, you have a picture, you have another example sentence, and then you make your prediction, okay? Ask yourself these three questions, and then make your prediction. Activity two, scrolling down. Here's the definition of the word. Don't go to those until you have actually done the activity. Otherwise, you're not gonna get better at using context clues, and that's the point of this activity. Number two is a fill in the blank sentence. So simply fill in the blanks using correct vocabulary words to complete each sentence. The first one here, the soccer team lost their first game of the season, blank, their efforts to practice and improve throughout the summer. You'll write your answer in this spot over here, in this spot here, if you can see it, right there. All right, moving on, activity number three. So this one is a fill in the blank with a scenario and an explanation required from you. So it says here, fill in the blanks using the correct vocabulary word to complete each scenario, then explain why that vocabulary word fits best based on context clues provided in the scenario. You may have to change the form of the word, so go, going, and gone to make it work. Here we go. Uh, here's your word list down here. And here's the example. Every single day, Brian wakes up at five o'clock in the morning to take a 10 mile jog. That's a lot, that's a, that's, a, that's a long jog. Then he goes to the gym to lift weights. This guy's crazy. Afterwards, he does 20 laps in the pool. Okay, I, I'm just, I don't, there's no way. And this is because he goes to practice, or sorry, and this is before he goes to practice with the team every afternoon. Dude, Brian is wild. So uh, the blank here, Brian is blank about training because you look at your word list, which of these words best fit? I chose the word relentless and I said this, he is extremely dedicated. So Brian is relentless about his training because 
He is extremely dedicated and exercises all the time. He runs 10 miles, lifts weights, swims, and attends practice every day. Relentless. Again, the word relentless is defined up here. You've practiced it in your context clues, and you've done the matching beforehand. Do that for each of these scenarios. And your last two activities, you have a matching, so it is what it is. Match the following vocabulary words to their synonyms from the box. Synonym, again, is the word that means the same or a similar meaning. Write your answer in the column next to the word. So you have synonyms and you have your vocab words. These are ones you've been, these are the vocab words you've been practicing right here. Here are synonyms that mean the same thing. You'll take one of these words and you'll decide where they fit in these boxes. Finally, activity five, application of vocabulary. So taking these just from vocab to the real world. Answer each question in one to two complete sentences. Make sure that you use underlined, that you use the underlined vocabulary word in your answer. So what might help someone adjust to life in a new city? Make sure you restate the question. One thing that might help someone adjust to life in a new city could be or is, and then you give your answer. Do the same thing for these eight questions and you're done. So again, as you can see, it's, it'll take you some time, take a break after each of the activities to give your mind a rest and then get back to it. All right, folks, good luck. I'll be available from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. if you have any further questions.